So we're going to start by opening uh, Visual Studio and create an empty solution. Uh, next, we're going to have a new MFC application, just uh, dialog based. Just remove the empty box to generate less code. And we're gonna start by having, by including the um, TDI plus dot lib. Now we're going to do the std afx and include the header file for ddi plus. Next, in the application header file, we need to have a token to identify the um, initialization of the ddi plus. You will see this in use in a moment. On the init instance is where you should call the functions to initiate the GDI plus. You first create a structure and then you pass that structure and that token to the GDI plus startup. To uninitialize, you have to create, if it's not created, you have to create the exit instance method. And here you also have to provide the token that was um, also provided upon initialization. just build to make sure we had a problem when we fix it but everything should work fine so with this everything should already be working if you know how to use it I will just create um, a control with a class associated with it to show it um, working so I'll create just a picture control that will be my my canvas and I'm going to create a um, class to associate with that uh, control So this class will basically derive from a C window and will only redefine the onPaint method.
So on the on paint, we are just getting the measurements of the control, grabbing the device context, and uh, already putting the code to release it. And uh, in the middle of it, we we are going to use uh, the namespace so that we don't have to type GDI plus every time we want to have um, we want to use the GDI object. So graphics is one example, and um, we create the graphics with the um, with the device context that we that we get. We create a pen, and we I'm just going to call uh, two draw lines just to make a simple cross. So now we use this new class in the dialog class. And we just connect here the control with our class. So this is enough to show um, the cross. We should also clear the, um, the canvas before we start drawing, so that's what is done here. So we select clear and select the color, and now we should see the correct image. Thank you.